everyone, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Before heading over to Orban Monastery, you know what? It's side quest time! Yeah, they open up a lot of side quests after going through the Moran Holy Place sequence there, so I'm not going to do all of them right now, but uh, I'm going to do a couple of them. I'm going to save a couple of them for after... Uh, for bonus episodes, so, because, uh, one of them, the deep place takes a really long time to get through, so, but I will be showing all of it, just not immediately. What is that thing? Well, it looks like a weather vane to me, but, well, whatever it is. Whoa! What did that do? Oh, really? Which one would that be? Hmm, maybe I should ask my wife about that. I, I mean, uh, it could be a cancer mark. I think that's what that one is. Isn't it? Well, not that I really know. I yeah, like I have all the Zodiac symbols memorized. Yeah, I mean, hey, I love this game, but I'm not that obsessive. Okay, well that's everything we can do there. Uh, I don't know if you have to go through that to continue the side quest, but uh, we do need to get, get another Zodiac stone. So let's head on over there now that we've, uh, well, done all that, we can finally go to Nelvezka Temple, even though we've had it unlocked for quite some time. But, well, now we can really do it. So, uh, the only changes I made to my party, well, let me show you. Mustadio, I have equipped with Move Find Item and the Germinus Boots. You want to have him with a jump of four, and, well, that's the way I decided to do that. So, there we go. Now we can find, what, no... No battle transition? Well, at least we're getting something this time around. Last time we didn't get anything out of the deal. Ah, there we go. Why didn't they do, like, the nice little battle swirl? Eh, whatever. But anyway, for this battle, let's see. We want the Stadio. I don't... Oh, by the way, we definitely need Worker 8 for this one. Some of you can already tell what my plans are. Let's see. Oh, you know what? We don't need Worker 8 right there. If I do this, yeah, yeah, that ought to do. We ought to be good. Not that you really need work. Well, if you want to get certain items, you do. You you will see why, viewers. I will show you how it is done. Not that it's really critical, but eh, it's a nice little side quest. Uh oh, freaking cockatrices! Not again. Oh, they got a new one. Worker 7, huh? You would think he would... Worker 8 would be more advanced. Of course, that's not how it worked in Dragon Ball Z, is it? What the? 6? What happened to 7? Please get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Did he just shoot Neurotaxin at us? For boss time! Now for this one, you only have to defeat Worker 7, but I'm going to kill all of them. In order to get the items that I want, do not, do not kill those three-headed Hydras while they are on those pillars. We want to kill them last. Or at least wait for them to uh, get down from there. So, well, let's start taking out the Cockatrice who's got to do what we got to do. Overkill! Wow. That that doesn't... 700 damage is less just like, eh, whatever. Eh, I see that every day. Oh, he's going after him. That's odd. That's actually slightly bad. Gosh, I hope a Phoenix Down will work on him. Usually he goes after Mistadio or one of my healers. But, uh, hmm. Don't get him stoned. Don't get him stoned. Don't get him stoned! Okay, okay. He's an old man. Just leave him alone. He's not that harmful. Not that harmful. Don't get him stoned. Yes! Alright, they wasted their turns. Okay, now we can get down to business. 
Now, unfortunately, the Hydras have this three-head attack that lets them attack th the three panels that are adjacent to them, other than the one directly behind them. So, uh, let's see. If I do this... Yeah, yeah, that ought to Miramasa. Eh, maybe I'll use Ma... Maybe I should have used the Masamune. Yeah, I probably should have used the Masamune. But my hatred of cockatrice has just overwhelmed my sense of logic, and... Well, I had to do what I had to do. Unfortunately, you cannot heal uh, Worker 8 with magic, so I have to use items in order to do that. So, Oh, well. I can use the, uh, what is it, the Mirasame to do that, though? So that could work. Those guys can fly a little, but uh, nothing I'm worried about. Hopefully, Worker 8 will get a turn. Someday. Someday, someday. Wait, no, he just got his turn. Let's uh, take out Hydra number one first. Er, now let's use Holy Explosion. I haven't used that one in a little while. I like burning my enemies to death with light. Man, what a way to go. You can't see me. Boy, that was fast. Okay, now all I have to do is stay alive to get the items that I want. You need to put Worker 8 right next to that pillar there. Then you need Mistadio with a jump of 4. See, I can get up there now even though it's a jump of 7 height. How does that work, you ask? You use Worker 8 as a stepping stool to get up there. But I believe you need a jump of 4 in order to do that. You get a Javelin. What's that? That's the weakest Javelin in the game. What gives? Well, I'll explain that after the battle, viewers. Not a me. Ah, there we go. It's like, where'd he go? Nuts. Okay, I'm back. Uh, never mind. I was, I just wanted to check something, viewers. Uh, I was thinking of something else. I'm completely mad. Uh, n never mind me. Uh, what? oh, you died. I was like, what happened to you, man? Well, good thing I got uh, Phoenix Downs for uh, Orlando there. Just to give him something to do. I mean, I don't want to kill the guy yet, because I still have... I still have stuff to do with my life. I'm too young! I'm not that young. I'm almost middle-aged. Man, I'm getting old. Now what I want to do is I want to get on that other pillar, but I can't really do a whole lot from here. And I don't want to move Worker 8. Come on, Mistadio. There you go. I can't move Worker 8, because otherwise Mistadio won't be able to get down from there. So, now as long as he doesn't kill Mistadio. Okay, we're good. We're good. How did you hit him with, with Orlando in the way? How does that work? Well, you can keep killing me, but as long as I can revive faster than you can kill, I'll be fine. Uh, you won't be able to get to him now. Uh, oh. Um, sure, why not? Let's use Chakra. We could do some healing. I think that even works on Worker 8, too. So, that could be useful. Come on, Worker 8. There you go. Move over there. Okay, one more turn to survive, and then we'll be good. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Working it to the bone, huh? Come on, Stadio. There we go. You get up here, and you can get a different item. The Escuchion! Hmm, there we go. That looks different from the other one, though. Well, we'll find out. Uh, let's see. What is it? Ah, you want... Well, I could just kill the guy. Yeah, let's just kill the guy. Er... There we go. Whoa, that won't even work. Uh, Orlando, or Krona, sorry, you're uh, you're going down for the cause. Your uh, sacrifice will not be in vain. There we go. How does a robot make a monster noise like that? All right, got it. 
So, wait, what? What reserves? Cancellation button! Well, I guess we can't quite see what's going on. Well, he's still alive, so, uh, run! How many of us are left, even? Yeah, he's, he revives with one HP for some godforsaken reason, I don't know why. But, uh, well, we can take him out all the same. Oh. <laughs> well then, there we go. Are you just going to die normally, then? I guess you can't self-terminate. Well, that was Stone Zodiac Monster, but well, hopefully that's the stone that we're looking for. I thought there was something here with Beowulf. Hmm. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm just thinking of something else. I don't know. Okay, never mind. Never mind, viewers. I'm, I'm just crazy. But there is something we can do with that Zod well, Zodiac Stone. But first, let's take a look at our prize. Let's see what we got there. If uh, Let's see. We got the Javelin, the ult which actually is not the ordinary Javelin. It's the ultimate spear. 30 attack power. So It's like, by comparison, the uh, Excalibur... 21 attack power, so it's way more powerful than that. And we also have the Escuchian. Look at that evade! Holy cow! So, uh, yeah, let's see. Should I make him even more ungodly powerful? What do you have, anyway, for your evade? Do you have any... Oh, you've already got, like, good weapon guard and stuff. Uh, let's give that to... Uh, well, actually, might not be a good idea to give that to him, because he needs the, uh, the magic boost. Okay, uh, you get to be even more godly. Yeah, they're never going to hit you ever again, Orlando. But what does that Zodiac Stone do for us? What's going on? Oh, okay, I guess we got another cutscene. Okay. Well, then let's... Maybe this is what I was thinking about. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I knew there was something with uh, Beowulf here. I was just like, wait a minute, did I need to bring him into battle or something? Or... What do you mean, you won from battle? What, are you going to have the dragon eat it? You got cancer. Well, at least I was right about the Zodiac Stone, which one it was. So you're gonna turn the dragon into a robot. That's great. What good could that have possibly done? What are you gonna get out of that? What the? Well, how did she turn into a dragon? I heard the backstory to this, and I don't know where they ever explain it in the game. Maybe it's in the, uh, only in the PSP version, but, uh, I, I think I heard she was, like, cursed or something like that, or something. I don't know. It's not explained in this game, but we get more party members! So now she has access to the dragon abilities and some other things. I think you can, I would imagine you can switch her job classes now. She can have equipment and all that, so... There we go. But what else can we do with the Cancer Zodiac Stone back at Goog? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!